Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this is the Baba Rayner YouTube channel. And I'm having a copyright issue with YouTube that I think is caused by a bug in YouTube. I'll show you where I think the bug is at the end of this video. I'm just going to go right now and document the problem. Basically, I'm going to go down a rabbit hole. And if you don't want to follow me down a rabbit hole, I can understand that. I just want to document this whole issue. So basically, uh, earlier this month, I looked at my YouTube channel. And I looked and saw all these copyright claims. And keep going down and there's copyright claims. Let me change it to 50 here. You can just see, I, most of my videos have a copyright claim on them. So basically there's, well, I don't know, there's over 110 videos here that have a copyright claim on them. So let me go down to the last video. And here I have my last video. And I go over here where it says copyright claim. I'm going to say see details. So I click on see details. And here's my copyright summary and status. So here is ineligible. You're not in a YouTube partner program and so on. So basically they're not paying me anymore. And that's another rabbit hole that I have to go through, but not at this time. So here we have this one video here. It says create Ubuntu virtual machine. Now if you come over here where it says copyright owners, it says Baba Rayner. And that's my YouTube channel. And like I said, my name is Mike Rayner. And I'm going to eventually show you where I think this screw-up came from. But if you look, this is my very first video made more than 10 years ago. And let's see if I can pull this up. Okay, here is a large page that shows my first video I ever made for YouTube. And in my former life, I was a teacher at Columbus Afrocentric School. And you'll notice that I'm using a CC Creative Commons license. And I have this on all my videos. And you'll notice that my name is Mike Rayner, so that that's the person that Creative Commons license belongs to. And a Creative Commons license basically allows anyone who wants to, to make copies of this video and use it for their own personal purposes, or even to show to an entire class, no problem at all. So let me go back to my previous page and show you what YouTube has done with my Creative Commons license. So here I am back at my first video and I want to show you something as far as licensing goes as far as what YouTube has done so I'm going to go to details page pull that up scroll down and I thought I'd change this no it's not made for kids but I guess YouTube has asked me to do this again click on show more and then I come down here to where it says standard YouTube license now as you've seen before I put a Creative Commons license on the front page, and I would always use Creative Commons license here on YouTube. For some reason, YouTube has decided to take away my Creative Commons license and substitute a standard YouTube license and not allow me to change it back. Wonder why? So let me go back to my copyright summary and status page. I'll follow that and make some changes there. So I'm back at the copyright summary and status page. And an action I can take is dispute the copyright owner's claim to this video. Now this is kind of tricky because I manage the Baba Rayner channel. That is, Mike Rayner manages the Baba Rayner channel, but they have Baba Rayner as a copyright owner. And I'll show you where I think this got screwed up near the end of the video. So this one says dispute under review. So basically, I've already submitted this one, but I'll submit another one just to show you how mixed up this whole thing is. So I'll close this, and I'll go to this video here, which is the next one, see details, second from the last one, and it's install Ubuntu in VirtualBox, and I'm going to select an action here, dispute. So here it is. I've got three choices. I own a copy of the song or video. I've actually created well, I'm not making any money from my video. Not lately, anyway. I gave credit to the copyright owner, and I thought I did, which is me. And But I'll have to put in here, my dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above. I would still like to dispute the content ID claim of Baba Rayner. Click Continue. Select the main reason you're disputing this claim. Original content. Content claimed is my, my video is my original content and I own all the rights to it. I could click that or license. I have a permission or license to use a content claim in my video. I'm going to select original content. I would like to choose both of them. 
And you notice that again, here it says copyright owners, Bob Rayner. I'm going to click continue. It asks me to confirm that everything is yours. Find out more about who claimed the content. You know, you may want to research the company. You know, how did I research Bob Rayner? That's me. And I really have been hacked into. You may think that one of my accounts have been hacked into, but as far as I can tell, nothing has been hacked into. And, you know, they want me to go learn more about creating original content and all that stuff like that. So I'm going to click the content claimed in my video is my original creation and doesn't include anyone else's work. So I'm going to click continue. They ask for proof of ownership required. Give the claimant as much information as you can about why this content is completely your original creation. I've got something that I've written up. I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to actually read it. And you can skip through and you can go through this fast read. You don't have to follow through on this. But I'm going to read it because I'm sending this video to YouTube. And basically it says, I have a license or written permission from the proper rights holder to use this material. This video was licensed using the Creative Commons license. The license is listed on the title page of the video. The video was made by Mike Rayner and uploaded to the YouTube Baba Rayner site by Mike Rayner. If you check the YouTube account, you will see that Mike Rayner is Baba Rayner. You will see Baba Rayner listed on YouTube, Gmail, Google Play App Store, GitHub, Heroku, Facebook, Pixabay, and BabaRayner.com, all managed by Mike Rayner. In addition, the following Linux websites identify Mike Rayner as Baba Rayner. And career comma. Basically, these are some sites that say I know my way around Linux. Techworm, top 10 YouTube channels, Learn Linux, and YouTube channel, Learn Ubuntu. Who removed my Creative Commons license and changed it to the YouTube license? Was it the Google AI? Was it a person? Or has Baba Rayner creeped in from the metaverse and filed these takedown requests? There is no indication any of Mr. Rayner's Google accounts have been hacked, and as far as I know, the Google Internet persona known as Bob Rayner does not own any accounts of their own. Please, YouTube, take down these copyright claims. So we'll see what YouTube does with this. And I'm going to have to click all these. My video does not infringe anyone's copyright. I understand that the claimant will be able to review my video and my dispute rationale. Well, I've already reviewed the dispute rationale because I manage Bob Rayner, and I understand that filing fraudulent disputes may result in termination of my YouTube account. So then ask for my name. Sorry, let me go down a little further here and enter your full legal name. And so, and then I go ahead and submit this. So now I've submitted another dispute, and I suppose I could go through this whole list of over 110 videos and dispute every one's. But that seems to be a lot of work, and I'm going to show you a way I'm going to deal with that. Uh, I may make a Python script to uh, go through there myself. So close that, and next I'm going to go take a look at some other rabbit holes I may have to crawl down into. So the next rabbit hole I'm going to crawl down is a copyright rabbit hole. So I'm going to click on copyright here. Channel copyright removal requests. Nothing to see yet. Well, okay. So let me go down and send some feedback. And says have feedback? We'd love to hear it, but please don't share sensitive information. Have questions to help or support. And basically, they asked me to click or hide some info. So let me go back and put the uh, other page on so they can... I'm going to go back to my channel page or content page. And I'm going to just leave all these copyright claims up there and click on the Send Feedback page. And I'm going to include the screenshot and click to hide highlight or hide info so I don't see all my things there so I'm just going to click and see what that I'm done so there's my page with all the 
copyright claims. I'm going to send my feedback. I suppose I'm going to be a little bit smart aleck about it, but I will not use any profanity because if you recall, I am a teacher, so I'm not going to do anything like that. So here I'm going to put in my feedback. I'm going to read my feedback again. You can don't have to follow me on this. You can go scooch ahead in the video. Is my YouTube channel now a person now known as Baba Rayner? Can it really file takedown requests of my videos? My own channel is against me. My Google Internet persona known as Baba Rayner has filed over 110 copyright claims against me, Mike Rayner, on my YouTube channel. How is this possible? Again, I write down, there is no sign any of my Google accounts have been hacked. I tried to file a bug complaint and was transferred to a site that wanted to charge me for support. Has a metaverse arrived and Baba Rayner is now alive? When you do a Google search, you will find out tons of entries for Baba Rayner and a tiny smidgen for Mike Rayner. You will see Baba Rayner list on YouTube, Gmail, Google App Play Store, GitHub, Heroku, Facebook, Pixabay, and BabaRainer.com, all managed by Mike Rayner. What does it take to get to Google Internet known as Baba Rayner to cancel the copyright claims against the real person, Mike Rayner? Please, YouTube, take down these copyright claims. And then I'm going to click Send. YouTube has probably sent me some email. So on my next section, I'm going to go to Gmail and see what YouTube has said about my dispute. So here I am on my Gmail page, and I see that YouTube has sent me two emails. One, copyright claim, your dispute has been submitted. And two, a new dispute is ready for review. Now here's my little icon for my Google account. And if you look at it, you will see Mike Rayner, Baba Rayner at gmail.com. I'm just going to unclick that. So let's take a look at this one. Your dispute has been submitted. Now you'll notice that it says no reply. So I really can't. It's claimed by Baba Rayner. It says, hi, Baba Rayner. Not hi, Mike Rayner. It says, hi, Baba Rayner. So let's take a see. What are my options? And it goes back to the copyright summary and status page. So I'm simply going to close that and go back to the inbox. I can read this whole letter, but there's nothing except sincerely the YouTube team. And if Baba Rayner agrees with your dispute, they can release the claim at any time. How? I can't release the claim. So let's go back to inbox and let's see what the other. A new dispute is ready for review. Dear Baba Rayner, you have a new dispute to review in your queue. That's review dispute. Oops, something went wrong. What am I supposed to do? There's nothing to do here. So basically, YouTube does not allow Baba Rayner to release the copyright claim, because there's no way. Uh, next, I'm going to call a number and see if I can reach a person or something to explain this situation. So I'm going to go and try and call Google and see what happens about my YouTube account. Oh, four one nine oh one five seven. And that's all I get. I've tried to call them about four or five times, and every time it's the same thing. That's it. So here I am on my main YouTube page, not the not the creator's page. I'm going to click on my icon here and I'm going to look for settings and I'm going to go to advanced settings and I'm going to have to blur some things but anyway this is actually where I suspect has something to do with the bug in YouTube. Advanced settings. I've blurred these user ID right here and a channel ID. The trick to this is when I copy the user ID guess what gets highlighted? The channel ID. It's copied to the clipboard. So, those are two different. I know it's blurred on your screen, 
But that is exactly where my issue lies somewhere. My channel ID has become the user ID on my YouTube channel. Don't know what to do here. I've tried to find a person to talk to on YouTube. YouTube or Google has said there's a send feedback on every page. At the bottom of the page, there is none on this one. So as you see, my channel ID has replaced my user ID. Now, some of you familiar with JavaScript might say, well, that won't happen because this is all this does is copy whatever this is in here and it's actually showing on the JavaScript page. Well, there's two ways to get around that. One, when I click copy, I may not be copying the script on the page. I may be copying something from a database. And the other one is if I use something like Selenium, which I've used on an open source project I've worked on. Anyway, this is an error, or I call this a bug, or Maybe YouTube will call the feature. Anyway, that's where my issue is, I believe. Or it has something to do with my issue. And I do not know how to get Baba Rainer to release the claim on myself. But I guess Baba Rainer has joined the metaverse. And Mike Rainer is slowly fading into the sunset. If you have an idea that would help me get this fixed, please let me know by including it in the comments below. Or please do no evil. And thank you for watching my video.